Hey guys, it's Jeff. I hope you guys are all doing really good today. Uh, I'm going to start the new build. Uh, this is dedicated to Jim Steen. He uh, was a YouTuber that recently passed away. Was a YouTube friend of mine. He uh, started this kit and I don't think he ever got a chance to finish it. So uh, I'm going to build this and dedicate it to him. Okay. We'll do an unboxing today, and then we're going to start the build. Okay, I'm going to build this straight out of the box, and I'm going to do a video pretty much every day. I'm going to try and do one every day, at least uh, five, six days a week. We'll see. They may not be very long, but <laughs> we'll get get something done. Okay, uh, let's go down the bench, and I'll show you the unboxing. And uh, then uh, I'll get everything started, and the next video will be actually starting the kit. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Be back in a minute. Bye. Today we're going to do an unboxing of this uh, Hobby Boss kit. It's uh, kit number 82459, and it's a GMC deuce and a half truck, which is a Two and a half ton chassis with a 40 millimeter bofer on the back of it. Um, Hobby Boss makes a number of versions of this uh, truck. Uh, you can buy one with a flatbed, I think, and a uh, fuel tank or maybe a water tank. And I think there's five or six different variations. Uh, this one, the markings that come in the kit are for the French forces. I think that's the Lorraine Cross uh, and this is the French, frat, French flag. Excuse me. Um, it's 135th scale. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, it's real shiny. <laughs> uh, there's no figures in the kit. I'm not sure about uh, the bags and things if they come with those. We'll, we'll find out. Let's take a look here. Uh, we've got a little bit of information. Um, <clears throat> side profiles. Made in China, copyright 2018, so it's about five years old. 82459, 40 millimeter Bofor gun. Kit does have just a little bit of photo etch not very much just enough to make it interesting okay and there's your health and safety information on it and this one's the same as the other end okay so let's take a look this is all brand new in plastic so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen sprues. There's some poly caps and some wire and some twine. There's the decals and the instruction sheet. So let me um, get these bags opened up and I'll come right back and I'll show you what we got. Okay, be back in a minute. Thanks guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the instructions first. And uh, here's the color call outs. They have uh, Mr. Hobby, Vallejo, Model Master, Tamiya, and Humbrol paints. Okay, and uh, they really don't go into much detail. It's just one, you know, there's one scheme. Uh, like I say, it's the French forces, World War II. Uh, no dates or anything, so uh, we can guess, you know, of course, early 1940s. But that's about it for the color callouts. Um, 
standard black and white color or uh, black and white instructions. Uh, we got our symbols, uh, health and safety, so forth. A little bit of information on the decals. There's really no history at all about the vehicle here. Got a sprue map of all the, the uh, parts. We've got a little bit of rope and a little bit of wire, poly caps, and some decals along with that. Here's our clear parts. We'll look at all that stuff in a minute. So uh, we start off with step one, the engine. Looks like a fairly simple build, not, not too awful complicated. I might uh, go ahead and add some spark plug wires and that type of thing to it, just to dress it up a little bit. Let me bring this in just a little bit. Get a little bit more light on the subject. Okay. Uh, also in step one, they've got the frame being assembled. Okay, it's kind of uh, funny because you've got a, you've got a, the frame is actually around the engine, so it'll have to be painted up all as one piece. So we'll we'll work it out. You can't uh, you can't install the engine later. Well, no, it doesn't look like it. It's all going to have to be done at the same time. Step two, um, transfer case, transmission, some parts of the suspension. Uh, there's a few photo etch pieces for the bumperettes. Uh, exhaust pipe, muffler, looks like parts for the winch. The winch here. And this is where we're going to use our rope. And three, we've got the springs. This is this is kind of funny because they've got one step on one page, but they've got multiple things. So pretty much one step a page. So we've got the springs and then we've got differentials we're assembling here. If this would have been mini art, this would have been a step, a step, a step, a step. They would have divided them all up, but that's okay. Lots of drive shafts. Got to make sure we don't mix those up. Uh, more of the suspension. I'm sure the suspension will not be workable by any means. A few more detailed parts. And then we've got the tires. Tires and wheels. Now, since these are in two parts, I'll probably assemble these, like at least the tires first thing, so I can make sure they're good and uh, set, and then I'll worry about the seams, because I'm sure that uh, is going to require some work, making sure that we don't have any seams showing. So we've got lots of wheels. Okay. Oh, okay, they did finally split it up here. Here's the windshield. Step six, and it looks like they've got some uh, photo edge wipers to go on. Here's the inside of the cab in step seven. Uh, lots of controls. The seats, I'll be painting all of these separately and then installing them. Steering wheel. Uh, I don't know, that's some detail there. We'll see when we get there. Make up the radiator and assemble the cab. Okay, this is going to look an awful lot like the 7107 uh, Chevrolet truck I built. It's done. They are very similar. Just a larger version. Okay. Fenders. Looks like we got a few holes we need to get drilled. And then we've got headlights with lenses. 
the windshield, the grill, and I'm not sure what that is. Could be a fuel tank. Not sure. We'll we'll figure it out as we go. Okay, here's the bed. And it looks like some racks for fuel tanks. A few boxes to go underneath. Okay, looks like there's some wood here. Uh, I seriously doubt the wood was exposed when it was new. It's probably something that I might be able to wood grain and then chip. Just so you can see a little bit of the grain through it. Okay. More parts of the bed. This is where the gun will actually mount. Okay. In the the bo the buffer. We'll have to see how the detail is on it. I can see this is going to be made up of two halves, so I'm sure we'll have a seam. And then we've got a plastic excuse me, a plastic recoil spring. We'll have to see. I don't think you're going to be able to see very much of it, just like through these little slots. We'll have to see how much it's going to take to clean it up. Okay, the gun is not very complicated. No cements. They wanted to make it to where it'll swivel and elevate. It looks like some sort of a sight or a ranging, uh, like a periscope type thing here. Then the cranks for turning it and elevating it. Okay. And then more parts of the, the gun. Doesn't look terribly complicated. And then a couple of seats for the for the crew to sit on and it says option and it's got another wheel here I don't know if that's for a spare yeah that would be for a spare okay and looks like an ammo box make three with a decal I do have uh, a set from um, AFV club of, of extra ammo and, and uh, the boxes and everything for the ammo. I'll have to look and see if they they should match up and be the same thing. So I might have a few spares if I want to put them on the truck just to make it look a little more little busy. Okay, and then there's getting the bed together, setting the cab on, and the hood and some various accessories. Okay, putting the gun on, so it's going to basically go on just like a turret on a on a tank. Put it in and turn it. This is going to be a spare barrel. The uh, guns got so hot, uh, the barrels didn't hold up very long, so they carried a spare with them so they could change them in the field. Okay, and that's the end of that. 16 pages, 19 steps. I really don't know how many pieces are in this kit. Okay, let's take a look at some plastic. Okay. I'm going to save the bag so I can put the parts back in here for as I build it. This is sprue E. Okay, looks pretty nice. Got a little wood grain to it, yeah, so I'll be able to do something with that. Okay, parts look really good. I'm not seeing any flash. Should go together real well. There's that extra barrel with a protective cover on it. Got a little bit of a seam line, not too bad. Okay, let's put that back in the bag. Okay. 
Okay, this will be F. We've got some delicate parts there covered with foam. I'm going to leave the foam in place for now, but you can see there's a real delicate part there. Um, here's the barrel, and it is slide molded. Okay. There's the two halves of the gun. We'll just have to see how it goes together if I've got a bad seam to deal with. There's that spring. It doesn't look too bad. Got very, very little uh, seam line on it. Some really delicate parts there. Okay. If you take a look at Jim's channel, I think he posted two videos on this. And I'm not sure just how far he got. But uh, we'll get this one finished, I'm sure. This is Sprue G. And I think there might be two of these. Let's see here. Well, I think there is. Let's see. I'm not seeing it right this minute. Okay. This is uh, the part that goes like part of the fender. And there's some of the ammunition. Some of the uh, controls for the gun. There's the seats. The seats are pretty basic. I'm sure some of those uh, are supposed to have holes in it. There's some fuel cans. A little more wood grain. Not too bad. There's the crank. Some of these parts are pretty delicate. Okay, I see injection, yeah, ejector pin marks, but everything looks so far like it's all on the inside. Three, four, five of these. Okay. This is D. Our tires. They do have a little uh, key. Pin in a pin in a hole. Okay. Treads look really good. I guess it just depends on how good the seam goes together. There's no markings on them. They don't say Goodyear or anything like that on them. Which is just fine. We got part of the brakes. Okay. Okay. Put that back together. So there's our there's our five of those. And we've got two of these with the foam in between them. Um, this is C. So there's a spring. There's some of the wheels. More of the wheels. Looks like, yeah, we've got the inside rims and the outside rims since it's duals on the rear some of the differential pieces. It all looks really nice and crisp. For being a five-year-old kit, there's a, nah, not even really, little, you could just take it off with your fingernail, a little bit of flash there. Nothing bad. It is just a little bit greasy, but looks like all the ejector pin marks are, uh, on the inside. There's those two. And, oh, here's the other one. 
Okay, this is the other G. So we already saw that. Okay. This is B. Just taking them the way I get them. There's the floor. And this is the, the side of the hood. This is the top of the hood. Or the bonnet. Depending on where you're from. Here's more of the sides. The louvers are solid. There's not, you know, you can't see through them. There's the grill. The grill looks pretty good. It's a little chunky. Not too bad. There's the windshield frame. Some of the controls. The fenders. The radiator. Not bad. Here's the dash. Dash looks pretty good. Uh, there's no decals for the gauges or anything, so we'll just have to paint them up the best we can. There's the firewall. It's got a lot of molded in detail on the firewall. I'll probably try and paint that separately. The steering wheel. Okay, looks really good so far. This is A. Okay. So here's the engine block. There's the fan. I like how they've molded that. There's the oil pan and here's parts of the frame. There's more of the frame there. One wheel probably for the spare tire. There's the exhaust. Springs. Uh, that's probably part of the winch. Some of the uh, transfer case valve cover okay looks pretty good just a few ejector pins on the inside of the frame the exhaust pipe is solid so I might try and drill the end of that out give it a little more uh, authenticity here's some of the one of the drive shafts there's some more of the drive shafts there okay and the last thing we have is well not quite we have the glass okay not a whole lot there two halves of the windshield the headlights and some tail lights I'm guessing pretty simple they look nice and clear okay and then we have some poly caps for the wheels to make them easy to put on after they're painted and here's some rope for the winch and some wire I'm not sure just what the wire is for and there's our photo etch that should be pretty easy Got our gun sights. It looks like pretty thick photo etch. Not too bad. It says uh, 82459135th conversion GMC 40 millimeter Bofors. Okay. Some little wing nuts and a few things. There's the windshield wipers. All looks pretty good. And then we've got decals. Let's go ahead and open those. Oh boy, they got, they've even got the little protective cover taped on. Okay, there's the crosses and the French flags, they look good, look like they're in registry and everything, 
Okay. Okay. That's going to do it for now, guys. Um, I'm going to wash the parts. And I'm going to uh, label the, the uh, sprue so it's easy to, to find what I'm looking for. And then uh, next video, we're going to start the build. Okay, we'll talk to you real soon, okay? Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.